they have a cat and he wants to be in the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day two of Vlogmas. If you didn't see yesterday's video, I will link it above. You might wanna watch that one before you watch this one to see what we are talking about this entire Vlogmas, which is 25 videos up until the day of Christmas. But today's video is on a question that I get a lot, and that is how do you break the paycheck to paycheck cycle? You may want to get your finances together, but if you are behind on your bills or you're living paycheck, paycheck to paycheck, it may seem pretty hard to do. But the method that we're gonna talk about today will get you out of that paycheck to paycheck cycle and help you start having some money in the bank. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, we've all been there before where we write down all of the expenses, all of our bills that we have for the month, and then we compare it to our income and we actually do have enough money in order to cover everything. But for some reason, for some reason that we cannot explain, we are not able to cover all of our bills. Or depending on when you get paid, you find yourself paying a lot of your bills with one check and having no bills to pay with the other check. But during that first check cycle, you feel like you have zero money, which means the first half of the month you're living off of noodles and the last half of the month you feel like you can eat out every single day. If either one of these situations fit you, then today we're going to talk about the half payment budgeting method. It may be the solution that helps you get back on track. So first, what is the half payment budgeting method? The half payment budgeting method is a savings approach to help you set aside part of the upcoming bills from each paycheck you receive throughout the course of the month. So each paycheck you set aside half of the payment and then you pay the full payment whenever the bill is due. So. How do you get started? First thing is to write down all of your bills and when they are due throughout the course of the month. I like to do this on my monthly calendar spread in my planner. But if that method doesn't work for you, then you can always just write it down in a notebook or you can add it to your calendar. But you just need to make sure that you can see the entire month at one glance. Now that you've written down all of your expenses, then make sure that you take a moment to check out your income and make sure it well exceeds your expenses expenses because when you're looking at your bills on this calendar you do not have other things in there like food maybe you won't have gas and other variable expenses so we need to make sure that we have those covered separately but you want to have more than enough to cover all of your bills and that other stuff that is not included in this method. After you totaled all of your bills and you know your income is higher, the next thing that you wanna do is add up all of the bills and then divide the amount into half. Another thing that I like to do is to round up each amount to the next whole number to make sure that I have a little cushion in my account. So for example, if a bill is $395, then I'll round it up to 400 and put that amount in my account. And the reason that that I do that is just in case my numbers are off or if the bill was a little bit higher than $395 then I have a cushion in the account to take care of that. Once you have added up all of your bills and divided it into half, now you know how much you need to save from every single check. The second thing that you need to do is make sure that you transfer the amount that you need to save into a separate checking account. And you wanna make sure that this account is not linked to a debit card and you do not use this for spending at all. This is to make sure you don't mistakenly spend the money that is intended for bills. Another thing that I'll do is I will usually make payments wherever I can. So even though it's a half payment, I will go on the site for that bill and make the half payment and then make the next half payment whenever I get paid again. That way I know that the money is completely taken out of my account and I don't have to worry about it at all. If I cannot make a half payment, then another thing that I would do is set up the bill online payment with my bank. I bank with Chase, so we are able to go in and pay bills through their system and they send it to the um, bill provider on our behalf. 
And for anything else that is automated, it is already set up to that bill payment account, which is also another reason why I like to have a cushion because if it is automated and I happen to forget it, the money is already there. So with this system, as long as you get one payment ahead of yourself, you can pretty much do this and everything will kind of run smoothly. The great thing about this is, is as soon as you get paid, you automatically know exactly what you have to do. You know how much you have to set aside. You know how much you have left to spend over and it's kind of like an automated system but there are some additional tips some additional things that I kind of want to talk about just in case you still are a little confused by the process here are some additional things that you should think about if you are going to pursue this method for food and gas and other variable expenses that aren't technically bills I will still take out the exact same amount of each check for that expense so for instance for food we normally take out $150 every single week for a family of four and we will go to the grocery store and get all the things that we need in cash. For things like utilities that aren't the exact same amount every single month, one thing that I would do is look at how much I paid the entire last year and then do the average amount for every single month. So sometimes you'll come above that amount, sometimes you'll come below it, but as long as you have the average, then you can kind of stay within that range and you know you'll have enough to cover it. Now, if you aren't able to save half of all of your bills because you are currently behind on them, then I would suggest to try and do this in steps. Take the smallest bill that you have and then do half of that one and put that one in savings and try and work your way up. So you might be doing one bill a month and then two and then three until you are actually able to save enough to do half of all of your bills. Now this process may take a little bit longer but it is so worth it because you'll start seeing a little savings account in your bill account that will help you cover any unexpected bills or anything that comes up. Now this method only works if you have more income than you have in expenses. If your expenses are more than your income, then we may need to focus on making you more money before we try this method. So I want you to watch either this video or this one and see if we can work on increasing your money. Have you guys tried this method before? Do you have another version that you have tried? Make sure that you leave it in the comments below and let's talk about it. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram at The Organized Money. We have a bunch of fun conversations over there also and I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.